Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights with me, Ryan, that fantasy guy. Uh, when we left off last time, we had just saved the oasis from the dark mummy that was um, <clears throat> infesting it. Um, managed to make our way on the caravan to this new area in search of... Let's have a look. What are, who are we in search of? It's been a, a while. I haven't actually uh, played for a, a while. Many reasons for that. Um, looking for new employment and stuff, so... Yeah, I've been a bit busy elsewhere. Right, so, Master Drogon and Ayala realised that the strange crystal hidden within the Broken Tower statue was a powerful artifact sought after Janar's mysterious mistress. What it is, however, and why it's being sought is still a mystery, and that it needs solving. Master Drogon believes that a comrade of his, Garrick Halasar, might have the knowledge needed to identify the crystal. The halfling caravan is travelling through the desert, <clears throat> and will be making a stop at the same AO encampment where they dropped off Garrick before. Once there, he will have to be found, and the crystal hopefully identified okay oh yes I remember Garrick was injured let's talk to Valana hello if you can help me my lord if you can help him my lord I wish you would we have no magic here and my skills are limited okay well let's try well and good ah that feels a bit better thank you so much now I am Garrick who are you I'm Gralius. My teacher Drogon sent me to find you. I am very pleased that you were able to find me then, Gralius. I'm unsure of what help I can be to you, but I owe you. So anything you need is absolutely free. What is this? A Mithalar? Where did you get that? No, that is not important right now. You can tell me about it later. I wonder if your presence and the attack on my excavation might have been linked. Yes, yeah, she must have been able to sense the crystal in the general area and thought we had it. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's just a little crystal. Deking, thinking old man be out in the sun too long. <laughs> oh, you must think I've lost my mind. I'm sorry, I'd better organise my thoughts for a second. Do you mind? No, I don't, because I'm just about to have a sip of my lovely vanilla chai. So please carry on. Mm. <sighs> All right. I think I have bits and fragments of knowledge that I will try to piece together, to make this all have some sense to it. What you have is a powerful artifact from the time of the ancient civilization of Netheril. This is what I have been studying out here, ruins of their civilization. I wish I could tell you exactly what the Mithalar was used for, but no one is really sure. I don't know when a Mithalar was I do not. I do know that when a Mithalar was damaged it could cause great destruction. How do you know this? I found several ancient writings that describe the Mithalar, referring to them in use of arcane spells and powerful magical items. One told of a mage who walked into an enemy's home and smashed a Mithalar on the stone floor, destroying everything within several miles. Apparently they are quite fragile. Mm, suddenly Deacon feels sick. He played catch with Crystal for, for hours back in the hills. About a month ago, my researchers uncovered a portal room in the ruins. I believe that this portal was used by the Netherworld to teleport between their cities. I had not activated the portal yet, but I think I was fairly close. Where, where it would lead, I have no idea, but this morning I got a clue. A strange figure wearing a dark cloak appeared in the portal room just before dawn with an army of demonic monsters. The horrific monsters tore through my friends of a savage haste. One of them grabbed me and nearly tore, me out my, tore out my intestines. I was thrown against the pillar and left for dead, but somehow I managed to regain consciousness. Did you see the cloak figure's face? She, and I do believe it was a she, from her voice, her face was hidden, came in from above a tunnel. She was trying to use the portal, but I do not know, think she was successful yet. She spoke of going to a place with limitless power, but she was angry. She said she had expected to find a Mithalar here and could not afford to have it remain out of her hands. After the demonic horde searched our corpses and gave the most convincing acting job of my life playing dead, she cursed and said she would wait no longer. She would take her chances. So she went through the portal. She told her army to hunt for a small round crystal that she could feel it was within miles of the ruin. Then she turned her attention to activating the portal. The creatures left and while her attention was drawn I crawled quietly away and very slowly made my way back up here. I thought I would stop at our home camp but her army had killed everyone there. They must have returned to the ruins though because I could hear them as I left, fighting something. I found one of our camels, <clears throat> wounded but alive, and rode it here. The beast died just outside of town. What would you suggest I do? 
This is what I think. You need to go to this woman and stop her from going through the portal, if she has not already done so. If she has, you must follow her through. There is no telling what is on the other side of that device, and I think she expects to find Nethery's artifacts of almost limitless power, untouched after all these ages. And if she does, what then? Ooh, Deacon, think of epic tale of boss. Just get much more epic. <clears throat> she may be seeking this Mithalar for her own uses, or perhaps she fears it. With all the power at her disposal, using the Mithalar you possess as a weapon might be the only way to defeat her. I can't face her alone. I would be little use of, of little use to you there, but I can do something that might help. I have a spell that will take me some time to set up, but if I can get it to work, I can reach Drogon with it. Is it possible that he might be able to send help or even come himself? I know him well enough to say that when it <coughs> is important, he will think of something to help. There are a lot of preparations I must make, so unless you have questions, I should get started. I guess I should get going. There is an entrance by the waterfall just north of this temple. Go through it and find your way to the Valley of Winds. The dig site is there. We marked it well, so it should not be hard to find. Good luck, Gralius. When you reach her, hurt her. Hurt her bad. The men and women she killed today, they were good people. Make her feel their pain. Hmm, okay. Very, very interesting indeed. So, <clears throat> we're dealing with a immensely powerful mage. So it seems. I greet you, my child. Um, <clears throat> Gralius is getting quite used to dealing with enemies of great power. Okay. Um, boss. Yes, Deacon. What is it? So, wizard fellow said that little crystal inside broken tower, very uh, tower statue, very important. Yes, he called it a mythalar. Yes. So somebody wants the little crystal very badly. Why? What do you know about it? Deacon not knows much. Deacon only knows that little crystal got lots of power. He was scared to break it too. But Deacon just wondered. Will this someone comes and tries to kill us before we get little crystal? It hasn't happened so far. Deacon only thinking maybe we should give little crystal away maybe. Like give back to the dwarf wizard. It be his crystal so no? Garrick seems to think the Mithalar might be the key to victory here. Ah, oh, Deacon not catches that part. Maybe we just goes back to the hills then and leaves desert. Maybe we not goes to scary place human wizard talks about. We know who we not needs to go there, does we? Deacon not thinks of that. Halflings not go back, huh? Deacon always thinks right an epic story of boss be exciting and fun, but now it gets scary. Deacon not expects that. There'll be somebody with lots of power like old Master out there. Somebody who wants to hurt boss or even Deacon. Is boss not scared at all? No, I'm not scared at all. There's no reason to be. Oh, Deacon tries to be more like boss then. Mm, more scaly version though. Bless you, young Deacon. I believe this gentleman I had wares. You. Oh, I've got a fair amount of gold. Hmm. What have we got? Cloak of movement. Freedom. That's a good one, actually. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to buy a load of these. Okay, let's buy all those. They've got us out of a sticky situation a few times, these healers kits. So, let us proceed. See what awaits us at the waterfall. The Valley of the Winds, apparently. Okay. thousand experience points okay very very interesting mm. 
This is a very, very ominous place. What have we got here? Right, this is the camp, clearly, because it's all the corpses of the dead workers. Worker near death. Okay. Perhaps I can save him. I see. You are now uninjured. Thank you for healing me. The demonic creature swarmed out and slew everybody. I'm getting out of here before they come back. Okay. Well, how do I get down here then? Okay. I assume this is the entrance into the ruins. Anorok. Excavated ruins. And the heroes explored the dreaded dungeon, sweat beading on their brows. Huzzah! Hmm. The D&D &D player in me is looking at that big chain and just wants to pull it, so I'm going to do so. Oh, some rubble falls on my head. Brilliant. Just what I wanted. Some more rubble falls on my head. What the hell? Armor stands. And a sarcophagus. Ooh. And gargoyles, apparently. Okay, let's destroy these. Because they're clearly the ones causing the problem. Deacon just keeps getting assailed by these. I'll heal him up after this. <clears throat> And let's take the last one down and see what this sarcophagus is all about. Right. Hmm. Nothing happened. Mm, they're not saying anything either. Okay. Oh, the other way then there was another door there I'm aware of that yeah but I think we'll just go this way for now let's go in here hmm there's loads of workers everywhere dead potion of bless an urn over there have a healer kit, which is always nice. Loads of gold. A blue slard. Oh, good slard. I'll kill you. You'll. I think they're evil creatures, though. So I think my Poli Avenger works really well against them. I'm hitting them for a lot, to be fair. And they give me a lot of XP as well, which is good. I'm close to a level up, actually. That's good. Okay, let's save it here. Interesting creatures, the slard. Okay. What else have we got around here? Interesting dungeon. Looks like some old civilization's ruins. 
Another armor stand over there. More physical damage, which is just absolutely fantastic. Just what we want. Who are those? Oh, they're out. Let's see what's in here. A green slot. Very difficult. Ah, I'm getting my Holy Avenger damage on that now. So if I smite him, does it work? It does indeed. Unfortunately, uh, if, if you're evil, you are no, no match for me, my friend. Cloak unidentified. See invisibility. Okay, here, let's get past 10. Wow. Hmm. Attempt to translate the runes. All power be to the eternal reign of the Netheril Empire. Let none pull asunder our collective knowledge and might. Call forth your magics that they should gather herein and be magnified. Call upon those most protective of spells and draw them into the orb. Therein shall our most impressive arts be shown. Protective spells. Well, I'll cast that on it, I guess. Nope. Okay. I guess it just means armor then. Mage armor, maybe? I can't cast mage armor, though. Or use a scroll for it. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps this is the part where mages get uh, all their benefits. What awaits us in here? Stand your ground. Uh, okay. Let's just get rid of these. These traps are annoying. <clears throat> the battle is on. Can't work out if it's an old city or a tomb. Doesn't really make it clear, does it? There's the sarcophagus is everywhere, but it looks like an old city of some kind. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, again, sorry folks for those that do enjoy watching my series. Uh, I have had a bit of a rough time the last sort of month or so. So my thoughts have been elsewhere, but um, I'm lucky to get back into it full time now. Perhaps going to start the morrow and uh, let's play back up as well. Looking forward to getting back into that. It's been a while. A red slard. Okay, he's not so powerful. Oh, but he can daze but Stun? Oh, come here now, Deacon. I need you immediately. Attack nearest. Attack nearest. And I missed your damn bard song. You not have more powerful spells, Deacon. The bloody whatever that is. Uh, okay. Red and blue. There's two in there, so I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna buff up a bit. What other spells do I have? War of Glory. Nah, just Divine Favor should be okay. Take the, the blue one. Is on. Nice. Good. Excellent. Still do quite a fair bit of damage, and I've got a lot of armor class as well. 23. They hit me relatively. Ooh. Come on, heal up. I knew they'd come in handy. Yeah, Deacon's being a, a bit un not very useful at the minute. I should have brought the rogue, really. I think I could should have really brought the rogue, yeah. I wonder. That's quite a nice robe. 
there's spiders in this dungeon, I'll certainly wear it. Um, more red sludgy up there. Quite a few, actually. Um, let's heal up. Oh, no, we don't need to. Okay. Let's go. Ah, oh, nice. Got the buff now. Oh, he actually stunned his companion. <laughs> Whoops. Wonder what he's casting. Wish I could see his spell book. Well, he just hasted something himself instead of me. Right, let's go in this room here. Yeah, go on, Deacon. Wow, that's a sturdy door. Why would it be locked like that? Good, another potion of law. I'd like to see. Nope, don't need that. Is that just going to drop some rubble on my head? Yep, some rubble falls on my head. Brilliant. Okay, let's continue our path. Whoa. Another one bites the dust? Yes, it does. That'll do. That's very good, actually. And that'll also do. I wish I had, like, a boots of speed or something. A bit of haste. I feel like I need a bit, I need a bit more power, really. I feel like I'm coming up to a really difficult point in the campaign. <laughs> Although paladins are quite powerful at level 8. Oh my... Let's help the Guardian out. Nice. Excellent. Sure that'll be important. You are an intruder. You destroyed other intruders. Destroying of in intruders is job for guardians. You destroyed intruders, therefore you are a guardian. How must I? How may I assist you, guardian? Help me fight the other intruders. No intruders in immediate vicinity. Request does not fall into accepted commands. What do you guard? The great master made me. I protect him now. The great master is behind me. You mean the skeleton? The Great Master takes many forms. Once he walked and talked, and now he is in silent meditation. Can I touch your master? I protect the Great Master. I do my job. You do not act like Guardian. Maybe you are an intruder. Intruders must find the. Oh my god. You kidding me? See if we win this one. It's going to be a tight one. He hits a lot. Actually, he was relatively easy. He wasn't impossible at all. Deacon hits all the time. All the time he hits with that. Right. Let's process a few things here. What did the Guardian have on him? Just a trap kit. Okay, let's do the level up first. Paladin. Uh, heal again. Um, I think we're okay for persuade. We'll take some more lore actually, and a little bit more discipline. We have a feat. Do we want great cleave? Mm. I see divine might being good. Mm. 
what's yeah, okay yeah I'll take the armor class actually my charisma bonus is free so with the armor class ointment of stone to flesh and a ring and amulet identified unidentified okay right let's use the law potion to see if we can identify them uh, what was it it was a ring as well yes okay let's use this law potion necklace of fireballs ring of magic defenses that's really good we're going to use that and what was the neck we'll think about using that as well but that ring is insane 14 magic resistance from that and I've got 14 from 12 from that so I have 26 damage I ignore from spells now that's actually really really good <clears throat> okay That's a lot of damage. Over here. Check this out. Ah, there's a secret door. Oh, we do like a secret door. Uh, okay. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The battle is on. And I'm petrified. Uh, I don't know what I can do to resist that, to be fair, being petrified. <laughs> um, have I got any spells, maybe? Uh, resistance? Hmm... I've got an idea. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Nope, I'm not looking at you. Oh, I'm full of good ideas, I am. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, die, 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 die. There. Is he out of the glare? Is he out of the glow now? Oh. Nice, nice. Another one down. And Deacon still. With oh, Deacon is stone. <laughs> He's petrified. That's no problem. I've got two. <laughs> What does that mean? My apologies, human one. The shock of my transition from stone to flesh caused me to revert to my native tongue. May I be so presumptuous as to ask the name of my benefactor? I am Gralius Verudegard. What is your name? Pleasant to meet ple pleasant to meet you, Gralius. I am Merixa Morfit. I imagine that such a name is heard hard on your tongue, so if you wish, call me Mir. Did you have much trouble annihilating those marauding lizards with their petrifying gaze? It was a close battle. Obviously you had less trouble than I did, so I am impressed. I did not easily imp and I do not easily impress. I am afraid that my lair is in terrible disrepair, so I have none of the proper amenities to entertain guests. I can offer you answers to any questions you might have, or we can play a rousing game of riddles. I did have a reward for you. If you're interested, I think you, could, uh, you would appreciate the magical device that makes power stones. Uh, 
Uh, uh, I enjoy riddles. Excellent. I think on this for a second, I want to come up with a good one, but not just a boring old riddle about legs and aging. <sighs> I've won. This is fairly easy, but a good start. If I eat, I grow. If I drink, I die. By my life, you live. In my life, you cry. Uh, fire. Excellent. A piece of advice when making your power stone. Six belladonna roots combined in the offensive uh, uh, will hasten your step. I always like to move quickly in a fight. Let us try a harder riddle. Without me, you would crawl. With me, you stand tall. Too much of me. And you fall. Uh, pride. I think you would appreciate the offensive power of the power stone. When ten organs from extra planet creatures are used in the right urn, but one more riddle. I saw a battle between griffins and hippogriffs. Each race had male and female members involved in the battle. Each member of both races attacked every member of the other race at once. When a male griffin attacked a male hippogriff, they would swipe with their claws. When a male and female fought, or two females fought each other, they would bite. I witnessed 21 swipes and 20 and 34 pairs bit each other. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Right, I need to think deeply on this. Right, let me think about this. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. So I'm going ten males and six females. <laughs> Yes, that was great fun, and I wish I had time for you to share some more riddles with him, but I do need to start looking for a new home. We need to discuss my reward. Of course, you have already discovered the apparatus in the next room or not, but I sense that it still works, so you have not used it yet. I studied the device for quite a while, intending to use it myself. Okay, so this is operate a bit. So how does it work? There are two hands, one on the right is for choosing an offensive power. Is defensive. The trick is you have to have the right number of each component of both urns. Once you're ready, just use the device and it will make your stone. I guess I will go try that then. I'll be going now. Uh, maybe I should head back south. Good luck. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Didn't he say six belladonna? Uh, okay. I'm fairly certain he said six belladonna anyway, in one of them. Let's see if I can make it work. Poison bolt, more belladonna, excelente. And the healer's kit. What have you got on you, Deacon? You've got paralytic bolts. Okay, let's give you these poison bolts then. Uh, or not. Okay. Let's go and check this out. This room. This power room of the urns. Rune pillar. Strange machine. Uh, nothing seems to happen. Okay. Was it this one then I had to do? Nothing seems to happen. Hmm. I could have sworn he said six belladonna roots. Am 
while these riddles are... <sighs> okay. These are obviously what each one does. One's attacking, one's defending. The gift of the fairy can really be found when used on the offence your opponents will stand, but defensively used even when you attack you will be seen by none. Okay. Ten tongues of a creature from some other plane can be used to destroy your foe in an instant of pain, but six in defence perfect Okay. Where's the haste one then? With four of the sweet okay. Six defensive. So which one is defensive then? How do I... I don't understand how I... Nothing seems to happen. Hmm... That's really odd. I can't work this out, really. Yeah. What is what am I supposed to do to in order? What the? My weapon does nothing. That is. Very odd. Hmm. Maybe we'll come back to this at some point. <clears throat> what, where are we? Okay, I'll look into that in between the episodes because I'm not sure I really listened to what he said. <clears throat> it was a bit confusing. Right. <clears throat> Oh yes, the invincible door. Oh my god. Oh good. Just what I wanted. Alright. Right, we're starting a new area here, so... I'll probably just leave it here for now and we'll get the other episode underway from the Forbian Hive apparently. It's good to be back. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a wonderful evening. As you always have been Ryan, that fantasy guy. If you if you want to leave a like and subscribe, it would really help me out. And if you like what I do, give a message in the comments. Thanks guys. Take care.